All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. I got more than 10 questions to answer today, and I'm only ever going to answer 10. So if I don't answer your question in today's video, that's why I'm sorry. So hopefully there's no hard feelings or anything. But anyways, let's get straight into the questions, starting with Mr. Blue. And he says, ASA, what is your most rare minifigure? Honestly, I don't even know. I'm going to guess maybe the Count Dooku from the Duel on Geonosis. That might be my rarest. I'm sure I have other rare minifigures but I'm not really even sure so I don't know how to answer that so sorry. Next question is from CF Productions and EK Starlord and they both asked basically the same thing. What movie coming out in 2022 am I most excited for? I think I'm mostly excited for Thor Love and Thunder as well. That's going to be such a cool movie. Thor is my favorite superhero from the MCU since Ragnarok and so I just think that that's going to be a really good and cool movie so I'm excited for that but I'm pretty much excited for all the Marvel movies this year. Let's be real here. Next question is from the Lego Man. Favorite version DC minifigure. Honestly I'm not really a huge fan of Lego DC so I don't have a favorite minifigure so sorry. Next question is from ND Brick Productions and he says what Lego Star Wars Battle Pack is your favorite? I'm definitely going to go with the Imperial Troop Transport. That is my favorite Stormtrooper minifigure. It is just absolutely amazing to me. I know a lot of people don't like it. It's the ones from Rebels. I really love those Stormtroopers. That's actually what my PFP is just with the googly eyes. <laughs> Me. And so that is my favorite battle pack. I own one of those battle packs and it is just so beautiful. I love it oh so much. And I honestly wish Lego would bring back those stormtroopers, but it wouldn't make sense if they did. Next question is from YND Bricks and he says, ASA, what is your opinion on the 2022 sets? I really like them. I know a lot of people have been complaining that like we need more prequel sets and it's like, oh great, more Hoff sets and everything. I actually did reviews. So if anyone's interested, they're short reviews, but I give a little bit more of like an input on it. Like I give it a rating at the end and everything so if you really care i would suggest go watch those i do like them and i actually just got the clone pack and the ahsoka brickhead i haven't opened or built them yet i really like them and i think they're cool i'm excited for the rumored sets that are coming out like a boba's palace and everything i think that's gonna be cool so so far i'm happy i think it could be better but it could also be much worse you know next question is from trixel and he says asa what is your thoughts on a ps5 or an xbox series x which one would you get if you can get one so i actually have a Xbox One X. I think that's what it is. So it's like the second best to the Xbox Series X. And so if I had to pick like one, like if I was getting one for free or if I was buying one, I think I'd actually go for PS5. I'm thinking about getting one. I'm probably not going to because it's like six or seven or eight hundred dollars if depending on where you can get one. But if I could get one for like five hundred, I might consider it. But I think they're both really cool consoles. I'm more of a console gamer myself. So like I, I know PCs are much better, but I prefer consoles and I like them both. I think they're both equally good. I don't think one is better than the other. I'm not going to be like, oh, you play on Xbox, you're lame or whatever. You know, it's up to in everyone individually if they what they like more. So personally, I like Xbox more. I've always played on Xbox. So it would be cool though to get a PlayStation 5 and then mix it up, you know? Next question is from Doff Dan and he says, ASA, do you own any Star Wars action figures? I do not actually, unless you count minifigures as action figures, which of course I don't, but some people might. I do own the Kylo Ren buildable figure, which is kind of like an action figure, so I don't know if that counts, but it's ugly, isn't it? I don't actually own any action figures from like Black Series or anything like that, and personally, I don't care. Next question is from EK Starlord, and he says, Do you own any San Diego slash New York Comic Con minifigures? Absolutely not. I wish I did. That would be amazing because some of those minifigures are like super rare and valuable and everything. That would also have been a good answer for Mr. Blue's question of saying rarest minifigure. Sadly, I do not own any any though and maybe someday but not right now and our very last question is from jed bricks and he says asa what will you do when you hit 600 subscribers nothing now get out maybe a mock contest maybe a giveaway something maybe just for fun because like it doesn't really matter and like it's exciting yes but I'm like it's not really a huge goal of mine right now I've been busy with a lot of other stuff in real life I think it'll be fun I'll kind of leave it up to you guys like if you guys are like yeah let's do a mock contest or whatever I guess let me know but that's pretty much it I don't really know so <laughs> and if you're not subbed I guess now is a good time for me to plug it maybe consider subbing get me to 600 if you want if not I don't care <laughs> anyways that's gonna do it for today's episode of ASA so thank you all very much for watching thank Thank you for all your questions make sure you comment a question or two for the next episode and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed thank you all very much for watching and have a wonderful day